Hey there, gang, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Gates here in today's message, Dress for Success. I remember early in my career being told this, that if you want to be successful in sales, you have to look successful because people don't do business with people who are not successful. And I have found that to be 100% true. When you look successful and you dress the part, it's going to go a long way for people saying yes to you. And so for me, when I started out, it meant getting a nice haircut, having a clean cut look, well shaved, cleaned up, nice shirt with a nice collar, pressed, not wrinkly. Have you ever seen that guy that walks in and he looks like it just got out of the dryer or he's got a pair of pants where one leg is shorter than the other? I don't know today that might be a style knowing what's going on in the world today, but probably not. Bottom line is when you look successful, people are going to look at you differently and they're going to want to do business with you. Well, Giggs, what if I'm on virtual? All the more reason, look successful when you're on virtual. Don't look like you just rolled out of bed. Look like somebody that you would want to do business with. And by the way, this is not only good for the customer and goes a long way to getting those yeses, but it also will make you feel good. When I'm dressed and I'm looking fly and I feel good, I perform better. My attitude is better. I'm more confident. So dressing for success is not just a one-sided thing. It's for the other side, your side, for everyone's sake. When you look successful and you feel successful, you'll have a lot of success. There's a great book out there called Dress for Success. I read it many, many, many years ago. I don't know if it's still relevant today, the specifics that are in that book, but I got to believe they are because dressing for success simply means looking good, looking clean, looking like somebody that you would want to do business with. That's the message today, gang. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to share it, and we'll see you in tomorrow's broadcast. Bye-bye.